We're building an oven today. Hello, welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Camilla. I'm 25 years old and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. We have been decorating my new apartment together. We started with the office. We did this dining area that I'm in right now. Now we're gonna do a little bit of kitchen stuff. The main thing involved is going to be this Our Place Wonder Oven. I'm so excited to open this. I actually got it yesterday or the day before in the mail. I waited to open it so that I could open it with y'all. I don't wanna leave you out of the party. This is a brand, if you don't know about Our Place, that I personally have been a little bit obsessed with for a while now. They make just really beautiful kitchen tools, cookware, and it all started with this one pan that they have and then it's just kind of gone on from there. What we're unpacking is their new Wonder Oven, which is kind of like a six in one or seven in one oven. But one of the capabilities is being an air fryer along with a bunch of other things. I threw out my air fryer a year ago or something. It had just gotten really gross inside. This is not sponsored by our place if it's not obvious i just thought it would be fun since this is like a brand new to the market kitchen appliance to open it together to try out some recipes in it and then we can also redo other parts of my kitchen a little bit it's gonna be a fun time let's open it up we already have some cute stuff going on here Okay, so it comes with a manual, a recipe book, and more information on how to use it and everything. Wow, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, first of all, this is just already looking so beautiful. I love it. This is something that won't be an eyesore to keep on top of the counter, which I just, I love. Where have we seen an air fryer like that before? They are all so ugly. It seems pretty compact, so we will see how much we can actually end up fitting in here. The Wonder Oven accessories are inside of here, so it comes with more than just this oven. We've got like a wire rack. This is the air fryer basket. This is what I was most excited for because it's just a really cute blue, tiny cookie sheet type of thing. This is the bake pan that it comes with. All of these things also, I'm pretty sure you're able to purchase more like if you wanted to get more of these bake pans. So that is what we're gonna be making some cookies on y'all. We have the crumb tray. So that is what's gonna go at the bottom. So those are the accessories that it comes with. Okay room tour <laughs> here is the inside oh my gosh it's so sparkly in there let's go ahead and put some things in here it looks like there are two levels for different various trays okay, so this tray can go here that's the bottom and that's the top option so still has some room in there Oh, that's nice. You don't have to put like the bake tray on top of this wire rack. You can just put the bake tray straight in there. So that actually is really nice. And then you can just pull it out when you're done. Same thing with that air fryer rack. So you could be baking something and air frying something at the same time. Although you probably would want to arrange it like this. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it goes up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and then 200 is the lowest setting. So here are the six main options of what you can do with this, which are roast, toast, air fry, bake, broil, and reheat. I probably will use air fry the most. And then it does have little instructions like for toast, set it to 450, broil, set it to 400 or 450. And then this is the timer. So I think it would just go off and alarm you that the timer is done, but it's not like the oven is actually going to turn off or anything. Okay. One other element that I thought was really cool about this when I saw it online 
was the fact that it had this steam infusion option. So I think when you're doing something like toasting bread, you can put some water in there, but that is just supposed to be to make it softer, fluffier, spongier. I'm not really positive, but that was something that I thought was cool. So there's no on off switch. There's just this cord on the back, which you can plug into the wall and then there you go. You can turn the temperature on and then that is how you turn the actual machine on, I believe. Okay, let's set this thing up. I'm definitely thinking that it would look better on this half of the counter. There's other counter space on the other side of this stove. I think it would feel good over here. But then, which outlet do we use? We have one right there and then we have one over there. Where do we put it? I think, I think this end, right? That's not bad. <gasps> That's cute. There's one other thing that I do wanna add in right now because I actually just got it and put all of my kitchen utensils, cooking utensils in it. I didn't have any sort of like cooking utensil container. So these were all just sitting in a drawer, but now I have this cute little neutral white, goes with the rest of the kitchen perfectly, cooking utensils. So nice. And then these are just these little like cocktail books. I actually never use them and it just has like basic recipes in them for each type of liquor, alcohol. Oh, that was upside down. <laughs> I just have them cause they're cute and I might figure out a better place or use for them. But for now they're sitting where they're sitting. This is gonna be its home for right now. I actually have to go work in like a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna pick this up on another day and we're gonna try out some foods and baked goods and all of that good stuff in it. So get excited. We are back. We do have one new addition to the kitchen and that addition is not these knives, a knife stand for these knives, which actually I did get these knives from that same brand <laughs> as this wonder oven. If there's one thing about Tauruses, which I am a Taurus. I think one stereotype that is often made is that we like our little things and we like our little brands. And I like my little brands. <laughs> if I find something that I like and am passionate about, then, then that's gonna be the only thing that I want to get. Kitchen tools and utensils type of thing, our place. I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere else anymore. Actually, that's a lie because our knife stand, our knife stand, beautiful, ta-da, here she is, is from the brand Material. I guess that is technically not the same, but that's another brand that I love. There's a few things that I've gotten from them and a few things that I've gotten from our place and we mix and we mingle them and those are my favorite kitchen brands. It's really beautiful. I think that this color is called white ash. If by chance anyone is interested in any of the stuff I'm talking about in this video, I will link it in the description below. It also, obviously, as you can tell, is just a really light wood color. So I know that doesn't like quite go with the pure white of the kitchen and of the utensil holder, but I had just been eyeing this specific knife stand for a while. I thought it was really beautiful. I don't personally like things to be completely matchy-matchy, so I think that's also why it doesn't bother me. Okay, not bad. Pretty cute. We've got the knife stand. We've got the utensil holder and, of course, the new beloved Wonder Oven. I think it's time for us to make something in that, right? My new favorite thing to do is make a batch of cookie dough, pre-roll it into little cookie dough balls so that then you can just smush them down on a cookie sheet and make a like one cookie or two cookies at a time or something when you want them so that then you can have a nice, soft, freshly baked cookie. It's pretty awesome. Why would I necessarily want to bake a cookie in that instead of the oven? I don't know. Maybe it'll warm up quicker than an oven. I guess we'll see and test that out, but I just feel like we gotta start basic and then we can try air frying something or something later on. It's cookie time.
Okay, so these cookies are always baked at 350. I'm going to put it on the bake mode. Like 10 minutes to start. And there it goes. I think that light just stays on the whole time that things are cooking, which is kind of cool that you can just watch it the whole time and not click on the oven light and then you know, squint through the dirty oven and everything. That is like a really clear glass. I guess that is a little loud while it's cooking, if you can hear that. The other day I had said that, oh, I don't know where the on off switch is. There's not an on off switch. You just turn it on and off by turning the time on. This is really fun though, cause you can just really watch it the whole time. That's gonna be fun to just watch things cook in there and everything. Oh, I guess this can be part of the kitchen reno. Um, I put all of my pothos, this is just the pothos shelf. So basically all of the pothos are up there. Sorry you didn't see me doing this, but yeah, that one's, that's just a really big one. Then we have small ones. Oh, and then here's also a nice little terrarium and it's penguin friend. Yay! The crazy thing too is that all of this bottom shelf of pothos had just been propagated from like this top one over time. So plants are so cool. I'll check back in in a few minutes when our cookies are done. to be honest these look these look crispy <laughs> as in i think i cooked them too long i think this is like potentially more powerful than my oven so i'm kind of not used to what temperature i would need to set that at or for how long i'm gonna let them cool off for a few minutes because they are smoking um but i think i might have overcooked them a little or maybe it'll just be really crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside always good yeah they're looking baked <laughs> oops okay but the only way to truly be able to tell is gonna be with a taste test so they're all cooled off it's been like 10 minutes oh right away burnt bottom once again all of this is quite likely my fault slash, you know, it just seems like it might be more powerful than an average oven. So either I can lower the temperature or lower the amount of time that it cooks for. I don't know, I'm not a baker. I'm sure those both impact things in different ways. Oh yeah. Yum. It feels like there's still going to be soft on the inside. I put white chocolate chips and semi-sweet chocolate chips in this. It really doesn't taste burnt at all. Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside, which usually I like my cookies a little underdone typically, so when I do usually cook them in the oven, I take them out while they're still completely soft everywhere. I think for an average person, this is kind of like the perfect cookie. Mm-hmm, that's good. Okay, I believe it comes in four colors. They'll probably release more in the future, I would guess, I don't know. The color I got is called Blue Salt, but they also have it in like a tan beige color a dark, almost black, but not quite black color, and then a kind of pinky terracotta-ish color. They have options. I personally just really loved the blue one right away. I actually had no debate on what color to get, which usually, you know, I overthink everything. So that was nice that I was like, the blue one. 
Perfect. <laughs> the next thing we need to test out is probably gonna be like potatoes or vegetables or something. I'll catch you later. We'll make dinner soon. So most importantly, Peanut has been loving the box that came in. potatoes, zucchini, salmon, and just all gonna be kind of lemon pepper flavored. So I'm gonna put the potatoes and zucchini in first. That's what I just did for probably 30 to 40 minutes-ish. And then when there's like 15 minutes left, 10 to 15 minutes left, then I'll put in the salmon. That's what's going on. in there i have like reheated some leftovers in there but i hadn't cooked a full meal in there so let's see little taste test of everything okay usually i have to check salmon multiple times but it's cooked all the way through i do feel like this wonder oven cooks a lot faster than the regular oven just because it heats up quicker i don't know maybe there's less space to heat or something but let's see, let's try a little salmon bite. Actually, I'm really pleasantly surprised because every time in the past that I've air fried salmon, it gets way too dry. But I just thought I would try it in there just to see. And it was still really juicy. Potato, it's good, it's good. It's nice. Zucchini's good too. They could be a little bit crispier, I think that would just happen if I had left them in a little bit longer. I'm gonna eat my dinner before it all gets cold. I'm really liking this thing. It's a vibe and it's honestly really cute. I actually really like how it looks on the countertop. If I may give some final words on the Wonder Oven, my final thoughts, opinions, pro and con list. I've had this now for probably about two weeks. I've made a couple different meals in it, made cookies in it, reheated leftovers in it a lot. I think I have a good enough idea of how this thing works so far to have an opinion on it. So my pro list, number one, it's cute. I actually like having it out on the counter. I like that it adds a little bit of color to this super white kitchen. As I said before, they have multiple colors on their website. Actually, they just came out with a lavender color also. That one's really cute too. I think I like this one better for me and for the current vibes of this kitchen, but the lavender one, also really cute. I do wanna go ahead and say the only thing that I haven't tried out yet 
because I have I just keep forgetting to is the steam infusion in the future I'll probably mention it in a video when I do try it out I just kept forgetting to look up what might be good to make with steam infusion I don't know if that's something that would just enhance everything or if it would be better for certain recipes meals or just like baked goods I don't know I gotta I gotta look into that number two this glass, as you've been able to see, is very see-through. I like being able to see exactly what the food inside looks like without opening and closing the door, letting the heat out. In addition to it being cute, it doesn't take up much space on the countertop. I mean, I still have plenty of space over here. Another pro is that it heats up way faster than a traditional oven. I think it says within one to two minutes, and it definitely does seem like it heats up very quickly. Very much so like a normal air fryer that does heat up quickly. Quickly, but it just is nice that you have all the different types of settings that you can use. I guess that brings me to the other point is that this isn't just an air fryer. It's like a freaking easy bake oven. If for some reason you live in some sort of really small apartment that like every now and then I've been on Zillow and there are apartments out there that people put on the market without an oven in them, okay? And that is bizarre to me, but honestly, if you had this, if you live by yourself or just like with one other person, it's, it's, it's a solid bet. <laughs> I have just been really pleased with everything and how it's come out so far, all of the food that I've made in it so far. Anytime I'm making just like a single serve meal for myself that makes sense to put in there, I'm actually gonna use this more than my oven, I feel like. I definitely have been so far. If I'm cooking for more than just one other person, like I think that this is perfect definitely for a one person meal, but also you could do a two person meal in here. I think anything larger than that, you gotta go to the oven for. Okay, my cons, which none of them are deal breakers at all. You can't set the time or the temperature to a super exact time or temperature. That's how my air fryer that I had before was though. So I'm kind of used to that for this type of countertop appliance but it is a thing. So, you know, you might wanna put a timer on your phone if you really want a super exact time for something. I mean, I think it's pretty easy to get the dial to what seems like exactly 350 or exactly 400, but it's just something to be conscious of, aware of. My other con would be that all of the little accessories, inserts that come with the Wonder Oven are not dishwashable or at least not recommended to put in the dishwasher. What makes it a lot less annoying though is just that everything is so small. So whereas it's usually annoying to wash like a big sheet pan, this, it's like washing a plate, it, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Those are really the only two cons that I have and I'm really pleased with this. We have one more little addition, tiny addition to the kitchen that I've added, so. Okay, so I got this fruit bowl, very exciting. And yes, that is Peanut on the counter. He does what he wants, okay? There's there's no controlling it. I, I try to take him off the counter, but then he gets back on and then he's just so cute and I just want him to be happy. And I guess he smells something right now. But yeah, so I got this fruit bowl. It's currently filled to the brim with potatoes because I like to buy potatoes in bulk, you know? It's cheaper, they last forever, so, you know, they last a couple weeks, it'll be fine. There's currently a bunch of potatoes in there. <laughs> I feel like I maybe do need a little bit larger of a fruit bowl if I'm just gonna keep like six potatoes in there like that, but I don't know. The bananas are hanging out on the counter and that's just, that's just that. Peanut left us and he went to this cute little box. To this little anyway, that's it for additions. There are a few small things here and there that I do want to change, but let's do a nice little full on kitchen tour, shall we? <laughs> it for
for this little kitchen decorating and obviously the main event, testing out the wonder oven and just having a bunch of fun with that. I think this is probably gonna be the last, do I even wanna say that? I, th I think this is gonna be the last room renovation type of video because the living area is done. There wasn't any like new addition to that. And then same with my bedroom, I've just been doing stuff that I already had in there. So it's my same furniture from my old apartment. So there's really not a whole lot else to show you, but there still are changes that I'll wanna do. So maybe down the line, there might be some more videos revolving around home decorating type of stuff. But I think that's gonna be it for right now. If you're interested, I also redid my dining area and the second bedroom, which is an office, and both of those were really fun to do, so check those out if you want. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, cause I would love to hang out with you weekly, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.